Hey Web3 friends, my name is Ronella Hernandez and today I'm covering the Forex Expo in Dubai. Joining me here we have Pamela from B2 Broker. How are you today? Thank you, I'm fine. So how's it going at the Forex Expo so far? Is it worth coming here? <laughs> yes, of course, it's always worth coming to an expo in Dubai. We are always happy to see it. So, so far so good. Tell me a little bit more about B2 Broker. I know you guys have a lot of different arms. So what is your role at the company? Well, I focus on the business development ma uh, management. I focus on the Latin region, North American region, and any Sp Spanish-speaking client. So I help them develop the idea of the business that they need uh, or enhance the ecosystems that they already have. At B2 Broker, we have three main pillars. So it's the liquidity provision for brokers, um, the technology provision for both brokers, exchanges, and e-commerces, and the digital assets processing. But you're based in Dubai, and your specific clientele is LATAM in North America, you said? So how does that work then? Well, of course, we assist and we attend many exhibitions around the world. Headquarters are here in Dubai. That's why I'm here. Of course, I, I mainly work afternoon at night, but I also have clients in Europe. And every time we attend expos, well, we end up having clients all over the world. We have 11 offices around the globe, and we have service in all the, the languages. Okay, so what are some of the concerns right now that your clients have given the current market conditions when it comes to risk and safety and investments? What do you tell them? Well, I can tell you, for example, in the region that I work with in LATAM, uh, the digital assets processing is really a lifesaver for many countries because they are facing high inflation. In Latin America, we also face uh, corruption. We have trust issues with the uh, traditional institutions, with even the government. So really, this kind of, of, of markets are really disrupting uh, different businesses and giving new chances and, of course, giving market opportunities for entrepreneurs. Okay, so in that case, because of the lack of trust in government globally, I think, do you think that crypto is a solution or is uh, a way to get around that to, for financial freedom and financial security, to get around the government's backed currencies? I don't think that we can fully uh, get behind or far from governments because we are in the end a society and of course we need to live by different kind of rules and we have jurisdictions and we have a, a set of rules for, for a reason. But I believe that digital assets are giving at least financial freedom to the users to have faster payments, secure payments and to of course uh, are giving market opportunities to different kinds of entrepreneurs to uh, make different businesses. Definitely. And how did you get into blockchain industry in the first place? Well, I have a, a bachelor degree in economics. I have a master in finance. So I've always been passionate about this industry. And of course, if you are in, into economics, into finance, into politics and so on, it's difficult to avoid the fact that right now crypto is being a big boom all over the world from the past 10 years. Definitely. And so given that B2 Broker, I know you guys have the liquidity, your liquidity provider, your payment solution, you're all over. So what is your prediction or forecast when it comes to adoption of either payment solutions? Um, what's your, your outlook there? Well, I can go back again to, to LATAM. Uh, some governments are already trying to accept or already accepted crypto as a way of payment. And that is happening not only in LATAM, but in different regions, you know, to avoid um, losing the value of their currencies against USD. Also, you have now stable coins, for example, in our B2B pay solution, crypto payment processor. Now we accept settlements not only in USD and USDC, but also EURC. So, as you may see, it's all the time developing into a new ways for people to make sure that uh, they are not risking volatility on crypto because blockchain is more than that. So, yeah. But it is very volatile. Yes, of course, it's a speculation, but if you are not into the speculation side of the business, if you are more into the fast side of it, into the technology of it, there are always ways for you to use it on a way that you are not facing risk on your side. Of course. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much.